Where's your gun, you paddy bastard? Hey? Hey? Ah. Uh. Not hung for this, you little shit. All right, lad. Come on. Come on, lad. Can you? You're the Irish bloke they were talking about. Oh, they are, eh, and all that? Fucking hell. I'm Charlie Millwall. Into a bit of play again. Who are you bringing the stuff to? A known farmer. Do you know what happens when we hang you? You swing there at the end of a rope with the biggest hard on you've ever had. Only it's too late. You're dead and you've never had any. Never been with a girl, Brendan? You do like girls, don't you, Brendan? Maybe he doesn't like girls. No? What's he doing with this then, eh? Th that's not mine. We need to know your contact in this murder gang. The IRA is not a murder gang. Then why have they been hanged for murder? They're dying for the country. IRA men on the wing. Condemned men on the wing.
Wendy. 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 You all right, mate? They were p putting a rope around me neck. Just a train, mate. That's all it is. Just a train. No. I can feel it tightening. The girl said she was 17. I had no idea she was so young. I'm very sorry, my lord. Three years, Boston. Next. <laughs> Three sodden years. Listen. Apologize to the judge. Agree to cooperate. And you could be back home in Dublin by the end of the week. You stand accused of the most heinous and vile conspiracy. It would give me nothing but pleasure to don my black cap and pronounce the severest sentence under the law. I came here to fight for the Irish workers in small farmers' republic. I will not allow political not speeches in my court. What did you get? Hey, they can hang you, Irish, or what? I'm underage. I got four year Borstal. Unpleasant time. Gentlemen, there's not much point in escaping. There you go, Josh. In the first place, it's so easy, there's no glory to it. Second, the army are laying minefields, so it's jolly dangerous to be wandering about. And third, the military is just up the road, so uh, having caused everyone a great deal of bother, you will be brought back. So, uh, don't sneak off without telling me. I trust we shall have no further use of chains. You are bossful boys now. Are you the IRA boy? Yes, sir. Yes, I understand you had a rather rough time in Waltham. 
Well, that's all behind you now, so uh, keep your nose clean and you'll do fine. Carry on, Chief. Right, you lot. Tension! Tension! Quick march! I hate this. Jesus. Do you feel like a kid or what? <laughs> you got that right. We've got some new recruits. All right, chaps. Just get your stuff organized beside the bed that you want. All right? I'll have this one. No, sir, that's my bed. Boss. Sorry? Now, all right. Hey, what's this story? Polish Jew. Caught stowed away in a British ship. Why aren't you wearing shorts? Head boy in each hut wears longs. Hey, Brendan. There comes a yid, though, an Irish son. No, it's a German son. My granny taught it to me. That's your granny from Germany? <laughs> no. She's Irish, but she's a communist. And she knows every song from here to China and back. I wish I had a granny like that. Millwall, sir. Put your back into it, Millwall. This is not an holiday camp. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. <laughs> How long are you in for? The Germans come. I am dead. I must get to Palestine. Say I am safe. You'd be safer in a neutral country, like Ireland. Neutral? What is neutral? He's not in the war. That's our way out. Come on, lads. You escape. Ben. Not for a while. There's someone I have to talk to first. Come on. Let's not go all day.
Where the hell's my tobacco? Who's a thief? Look, I had a whole pack and it's gone. Maybe the pig took it, Mac, eh? Who far did you get when you escaped? What? <clears throat> you thinking of escaping? No way at me here, no. I'm the expert escaper around here. How far did you get? About five miles. I mean, the whole area's been cleared to civilians in case there's an invasion. Of course, only country bastard I meet's got a shotgun and a bloodhound. Couldn't believe it. Where were you headed for? Train station. If I can get to Glasgow, nobody will find me. Never. Never. <laughs> what? They found you easy enough the first time, didn't they? Hey, nobody's escaped from here without me, right? I've got a reputation to protect. This is my escape. I decide who goes. <laughs> what makes you so special? I'm a POW. It's my duty to escape. Mm, it's a POW. <laughs> so, prisoner of war. Well, if we're going to do it, we need to do it right, you know what I mean? Get rid of these rags, get the proper clothes and that. The first thing we need is a map. We need to know where we're going, Jock. A map. Where are we going to get a map? It is a rather unusual request. These things are very hard to come by in wartime, but um, we'll do our best. Thank you, sir. It doesn't matter if it's a second hand ball, sir. Uh, once it's a ball. Um, um, you know, any type of real ball, sir. Once it bounces, sir. Yes, sir. I do not see what this war has got to do with you, you Canadian. What about Hitler? We've all got to fight Hitler. I missed. You dropped something. Oh. Charlie Mill will at your service, miss. Thank you, Charlie. He's a cheeky bastard. Just thinking about it is enough to have your brick cut off. Charlie. <laughs> 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 See, what you buggers don't understand is that uh, women are gagging for it. <laughs> Not from the likes of you, you big Scottish puff. Hey, there's no puff does. <laughs> Up north. Can't say the same for in here. <laughs> ah, I've got a lovely bit of scuttling for me in Glasgow. That's why I'm going to escape. Forgot to. Bet she's not as juicy as the one I did. You what? He's in for rape, isn't he? Good, was he? <sighs> oh, better than you lot could ever imagine. Bobby Amel and Arcona got married at 16. He gets it every night. Married? What a mug. You see, the best part is taking it when it's not being offered. I wouldn't mind having a go at the governor's daughter. <laughs> Hello, Dad. Elizabeth. I'm home. Mm. Mm. As you insisted. Well, you can't stay in London in the middle of the Blitz. It wasn't for this stupid war. You can't blame me for the Germans being in Paris. I blame all men for war. Don't talk nonsense, Elizabeth. I'm an artist. How am I expected to paint here? Well, if you're really serious about it, well, surely you can paint anywhere. You're hopeless. Elizabeth. Look, Dad, don't treat me like one of your prisoners. What are you looking for? Uh, you know, a map book. What 
kind of book would that be? Ah, but we're pictures of... Uh, just pictures. Comic books over there. Brilliant. Great, thanks. And you're an uh, Irish rebel, am I right? Only one, as far as I know. The very thing for you. The life of Oscar Wilde by Frank Harris. I'm not interested in Oscar Wilde. Blasphemy. Fellow Irishman, fellow jailbird and rebel. You know what he was done for, don't you? I know there aren't any songs about him, which is odd for a rebel. He was put in jail for buggering the son of the Marcus of Queensbury. Shocking. What? Well, he was no Irishman if he was up to that caper. No. Local history. What have you got in local history? Huh. Let's see. Let's be good. I got blind, Joanna. You have this line, it's the office square, I'll take it, it's yours, yeah, man. I, I, I don't mind. How fine as I am. Why are you being such a prick? You took care of me up in Walton Jail, I took care of you. We're meant to be looking out for each other. That's what friends are for, isn't it? You're not my friend. on a splendid wrestling final. Millwall, uh, we have a small prize for you, which I know will come in useful. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Oh, open it. Someone must have sat on it. <laughs>
Friends, that's all. I don't want any of that China stuff, right? China plate, mate. It's rhyming slang. Yes. See, if you're my friend, I can call you China anytime I like. Yeah. You understand that? Oh. Oh. Ooh, it's like ice bandit. Oh, it's freezing cold. Oh, it's like a circle in here. Ooh. I'm not clear. I like girls. I knew that from the beginning. How did you know? Why are you here? My hair. How can you tell by my hair? You split the wrong side. Those queers, we split it the other way. So we know one another. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm... <laughs> Volunteers with experience in painting and decorating. No sex offenders. Not right. for decent criminals only. Oh, come on then. Irish? Yeah. 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 Oh, one more then. Yeah. Sir. Jock. Yeah. Right, follow me then. Okay, lads, in here. Dump, sir? No way. No way. There you go, miss. Thank you, Chief. My father insists I can make this a studio. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. A coat of paint. You won't know this place. Aye. You know, obviously, all this tempo's gonna... gonna need replaced, and that, but... A bit of plastering over there. Lighter problem. Talking about lights, a problem. There's plenty of light. It, it, it's, it's facing east, which, which makes it bright in the morning, but, but dark in the afternoon. You see, an artist needs an even light. Is he white, right, Miss? So, you know what you're talking about? I always know what I'm talking about. And where do you learn about light? 
My people are all painters. Really? Anyone I would have heard of? House painters. Oh. <laughs> My mother had a picture painted once. It's hanging in the National Gallery of Ireland. M -m 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 maybe you've seen it. No, no, I've never been to Ireland. Well, at least you had a mother. I never knew mine. No mother. So, uh, terrible. Yeah. Yeah, I was brought up in an orphanage. I just hope someday I'll have a girl on my own. I'm sure you will, Charlie. Just get on with it, Millwall. You were never an orphan. Wait. You didn't know my mother. I used to dream of being an orphan. Anyway, she seemed to like it, didn't she? Well, I tell you, there's no way I'm slaving away for that upper class bitch. I'm no skivvy. Nah. What does every escape operation need? Don't know. A headquarters. What found the footage? What do you think you're playing up, brown eyes? Come on. Down there. Hello, Brendan. Hello. This is Lieutenant Kidd from the Army base. This is Brendan. He's building me a studio. Oh, you're the paddy. My father served in Ireland. So did mine. Really? What regiment? First Battalion, Dublin Brigade, Irish Republican Army. Oh, IRA. David, why don't you challenge Brendan the boys to a game of rugger? Well, are you up to it?
The luck of the Irish. Elizabeth. His Majesty the King, accompanied by Mr. Churchill, oh, toured the devastated streets of Coventry. This was Coventry Cathedral. The cathedral spire and the font remain. The rest is rubble. The king comforted some of the many who had lost their homes with the German terror bombing. Planning a little trip, are we? This is nothing to do with you, Dale. I'm taking over. I'm going instead of the Jew. Piss off, Dale. You shouldn't be siding with foreigners against your own. James is going instead of you. So <laughs> why? Come on, Dale. Go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. This is my escape. No Jews and no queers. So, Brendan, we got a deal. It's not fair, Brendan. Life's not fair, Charlie. When do we go? Next Saturday night. Good. Hey. Thanks a lot, Simon. Give you the bleeding map. Yes. Come 
bombast. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Shh. Irish bastard! I should have known! I should have known he was a traitor! How many, Chief? There are five boys not accounted for, sir. Oh, <laughs> 
So, you're with the Prince of Wales? Yes, sir. She's head of her action. Wouldn't you rather be with her? Absolutely, sir. Well, you request transfer back. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, sir. Very much, sir. Well. So that about? Apparently, my ship's heading for action. Oh. You gone? Good choice, Brendan. As a prisoner of war, it was my duty to escape. Oh, I see. So now two boys are dead. Yes, sir. Got nothing to say for yourself, Millboard? I was just sticking by my china, sir. So if he jumped off a bridge, you'd follow? Yes, sir. You boys are going to have to live with this for the rest of your lives. But you do have a choice. You can carry on as before, skulking about like thieves and liars, in which case you will spend the rest of your lives in prison. Or you can take a good, long, hard look at yourselves and take responsibility for your actions and their consequences. So make your choice. Three months detention or your word that you will make a new start. What will it be? I bet you thought it was really clever of you to jump your escape, didn't you? Hey? Hey? Can't hear ya. Get off him, you bastard! Uh. Get off me! Get off me! What's going on here? Nothing, sir, nothing. Just having a bad dream, that's all. You all right, Ben?
coming on. Here. Just a sketch. Is it up to honor? Make a good wanted poster. You must feel terrible about your friends. About killing him, you mean? It wasn't your fault, Brendan. Your father thinks it was. Each man kills the thing he loves. What, what, what do you mean? The coward does it with a kiss. The brave man with a sword. <laughs> What's that? It's Oscar Wilde. The Ballad of Reading Jail. You should read it. Yeah, miss. Yeah. Here's a picture, yeah? You keep it, Charlie. Fancies, what are you reading then, Irish? Oscar Wilde. Bloody puffed at that one. Wasn't he a jailboard like myself? You have an answer for everything, haven't you, Irish? Where's it from? It's from me, Granny. She misses me. I was always her favorite. Yeah. She gave me this. It's Brendan the Navigator. He's a patron saint of sailors. And I'm the bleeding sailor. <laughs> so you should. Come on. Take it. Oh, I can't take that. I can't. Of course you can. Now the navigator will keep you safe. Wonderful. It's not done yet. I don't know what to say. How can I ever repay you? Some bows, cigarettes. Would you reckon Brandon some food? I'd love to put on a play. Play? What? Yeah, a play. Do you think your father would let us? What, the Christmas pantomime? What? What? What, Cinderella? What do you mean? That's a great idea. No. I was thinking of something by Oscar Wilde. And you want me to ask? Is that the idea? Yeah. <laughs> I hope tomorrow will be a fine day for you. It never, it, it, it never is, sir. Lane, you're a perfect pessimist. I, I, I do my, I do my best to, to, get, give, sa, 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 satisfaction. I, I do my best to give satisfaction, sa. That's great, Chuck. Yeah, good stuff. Are we in? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Who am I going to get to play the girls? Well, frankly, I've always felt I was born to play a great lady, so perhaps I could be your Lady Bracknell. Yeah. Then the only question is, who is to play Gwendolyn and Cecily? to tell someone that you like them, don't you find? I mean, it's so hard to find the right words.
Don't know this person. Yes. You have to tell him. What if he doesn't feel the same? Is there anyone waiting to find out? Tell him. Okay, come on, quickly. I've got to be pressed tonight. Oh. Quick, yeah, quick. Lady Brackwell and Miss Fairfax. <laughs> Good afternoon, dear Algernon. I hope you're behaving very well. I'm fine, Aunt Augusta. Thank you. must admit I smoke. I'm glad to hear it. A man should always have an occupation of some kind. How old are you? I am 29, Lady Brackman. A very good age to be married yeah, good. <laughs> Married them? Yes. I mean, no. Your, Your Christian, Christian names, names are still an insuperable barrier. That is all. Our Christian, Christian names? Is that all? Well, we'd, we'd be, be christened this afternoon. For my sake, you're prepared to do this terrible thing? I am. To please me, you are ready to face this fearful ordeal? I am. Darling. <laughs> Darling. to be married. It seems you are displaying signs of triviality. On the contrary, Aunt Augusta. For the first time in my life, I finally realized the vital importance of being honest. Oh, 
Come on, I'll look after you. I'd like to. But I can't. to the stars. Oh, yeah. I forgot you're a thief. Strange. When I kissed you during the play, I felt all right. <laughs> because it was someone else. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Just be yourself. Can I? Yeah. Someone's coming. Linda. Hello, Charlie. Daya wants you up the dorm. What does he want me for? Hello, Charles. I wonder where these have got to. What are you doing, me? How about this, then, Charlie? I quite like this. 
I might steal it for myself. Yeah, I'll take that. You really do take the piss, Dal. So where'd you get it? None of your business. So fuck off. <laughs> I know what I'd quite like to fuck. Well, come on then. Why don't you? Oh, you're a little bastard. What's the matter? You're not man enough, eh? You dirty little. <laughs> Bend him over. Oh, no, 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 Get off me! Get off! Charlie? Liz! Liz, get out! Liz, get out! What? Get out! It's all right, it's all right. No, 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 it's all right. Oh, open the door. Just... I want to get out. Leave her alone, Dal. Open Del. the door. Don't be stupid. Dal, Dal, leave her alone. Ow. What's the matter? Lost your hard ones, have ya? And he assaulted another boy. I have no choice. You've devoted your whole life to saving these wretched boys, and now you have one worth saving, and you're going to throw him away. Because rules are rules. Precious rules always mattered more to you than I did. That's simply not true, Elizabeth. No. We'll prove it. Bend your precious rules for me. All right, Bean. Joining me ship. We we'll see that. Where are you headed for? Singapore. Singapore. Yeah. Can't get much further away from the Germans than that. No. Yeah. Oi, when you're John Natron, we do have a war to fight, you know. Aye, aye, sir.
Hey, chaps, Brendan, you know, I've just realised this. What's that? The importance of being earnest. Get on the so, bus. Take it easy, brother, mate. Good luck, Alfred. Oh, lad, that that I lo love, loved, loved, loved. Yeah. the lad that I loved. How a man can love another man, not just, you know, but love. Do you love your father? <laughs> I hate the bastard. I love my wee brother. You love a man, then, don't you? Nah, that's not the same thing. It is, you know. It's not fair. I won't show you a portrait unless you share your writing with me. But I'm in your painting. And I'm not in your writing. You, you wouldn't understand it. Try me. Blas Maradova, Teresh Boschdi, Herr Warren Schleva. Dustan Frazun, Fad Al Urna Trainak, Kugur Gaira Bertlanon, Donaineron. Does it? Give it to me in English. No. I'm teaching some Gaelic then. No. <laughs> but at least tell me what it means. Called the weakness, which means loneliness. The tang of blackberries wet with rain on the hilltop. In the silence of the prison, the clear whistle of the train, the happy whispering of lovers to the lonely one. It's not bad. It's much better in Gaelic. <laughs> it's wonderful, Brendan. It is, it's wonderful. Teach me some more then. Yeah. <clears throat> A weakness. A weakness. Clues. Clues. Clues, Ella. A hain, a doe. A hain, a doe. Sul. Sul. Sulella. Sulella. A hain, a doe. A hain, a doe. Shrone. Shrone.
supposed to say stop. of the devastation wrought by Japan's sneak attack on Pearl Harbor are still being released by the United States government. America was not at war. No danger was thought to be within a thousand miles of Hawaii. Aye, aye. The Japanese bombs did tremendous damage to American sea power, which was based upon yeah. Pearl Harbor. The result, of course, has been disastrous. Meanwhile, Britain faces the shocking news that she too has been the victim of Oriental deceit. Attacks have taken place at Hong Kong and Malaya. Most shocking of all is word of the loss of the pride of the Royal Navy, HMS Prince of Wales. Fought in the waters of Singapore, the gallant ship put up an heroic defense before succumbing to the overpowering air attack. First reports point to the tragic loss of the entire ship's company, 2,000 men and boys. 9,000 tons, 10, 14 inch guns. He lies on our side. Stay away from me. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. It's... It's all my fault. No, no, it's not your fault. Listen to me. It's not your fault. It's not... Charlie said to give it to you. He said it'll keep. He said it'll keep you safe. No. No. <laughs> right. We're prepared to grant you an early release. But to do that, we need you to denounce the IRA. Tried betrayal. It doesn't suit me. You see, Brendan, we need an undertaking that you stop fighting us. I'll promise not to take up arms against England until you finish this bastard, Hitler. Beyond that, I reserve me options. I'll need that in writing. I can't do that. Boston boy's word is good enough for me. Thank you, sir. Not a laughing boy. I was brought up to hate the English. I had to come here to learn about love. 
And what did you learn about love? It's much stronger than hate. I learned that from you and Charlie. Oh, I had it both ways. Just like Oscar Wilde. <laughs> You were right. What's the point? No, not to me. Right. For everyone. <clears throat> so. Expulsion order. Are you Brandon Bean? Um. And how far is your order move? The Ramaga. It would be wonderful to be free. It must.
what you got I just don't 